Today I have a gift for you from one of our very generous community members. A few weeks ago I uploaded a video which showed three methods you can unhide all Excel sheets in one go. One question was, is it possible to pick the sheets we want to unhide? So for example, out of 10 hidden sheets, we want to unhide three specific sheets. How can we do that? Joe and Rico were kind enough to share the steps and the code you need to get this done, but if you're not familiar with VBA, it might not be easy to implement the steps. That's where the gift comes in. Now this gift is not from me. It's from Daniel, one of our wonderful community members, who reached out to me after I posted that video and told me that there is a utility that he shares with the participants of his VBA course and he's going to be very happy to share it with you guys, with our wonderful Excel community here. So if you're excited, give it a thumbs up. Let me show you how you can download it and how you can install it so that you can use it for any of your Excel workbooks, not just macro-enabled workbooks. So below this video, you're going to find a link. Click on it and it's going to take you to Daniel's website. It's called Combo Projects. It's in Melbourne, Australia. You're going to come directly to this blog post that's called the Unhide Worksheet Utility. Now, you can read through it to see what this does and how you can install it. And all the way on the bottom, you're going to see a download link for the zip file that you're going to need. So just click on that and download the zip file. Now, I've already downloaded it and I've also unzipped it. So the way it looks is you get this folder with two files. One is an Excel file and the other is a PDF file. So if you click on the PDF, you'll see more details from Daniel here on how this macro works and the code that you need in here. So if you want to practice your VBA, you can scroll down here, take a look at the code and play around with it and try to set it up yourself. Now, the other file is the file that we need, and that's the Excel file that has the macro in it. So just open that up. It's a macro-enabled Excel file, but you don't necessarily need to run this macro here, because what we're going to do is to make this macro available to all of our Excel workbooks. So first, let's go to the editor view and see what we have. So if I click on Alt F11, that opens up the VBA editor. And here I can see all the names of the sheets that Daniel has here, but we can collapse that. We don't need that. What we need is the macro that's inside the forms folder and the module right here. And if I double click on this, this is the form that Daniel has created. So the way we can use this for all our files is to copy this macro to our personal macro workbook. In Excel, there is a separate workbook that's called the Personal Macro Workbook. It's a separate file that opens in the background and Excel hides it so you don't see it. But the good thing with that is that you can use any macro you've saved there and you can use it for all your non-macro enabled files. So our next step is to enable that Personal Macro Workbook. To do that, we have to create some dummy macro just to activate it. And we're gonna run the macro recorder. So click on this little icon down here. Now important is that we wanna store this macro not in this workbook, instead we wanna store it in the personal macro workbook. And then just click on okay. When this symbol changes, it means the macro recorder is working, but we don't need it to do anything. So we're just gonna stop it. Okay, so click on that to stop. Now let's click on Alt F11 and we see something pop up here. It's called personal.xlsb. So this is the other Excel file that's opened in the background. And if I open this and open this, I see a module in there. That's the macro that I just created, right? I just turned it on and off. There's nothing really written here. So I don't need this. The purpose of that was just to get this activated here. So you can remove this. So just right mouse click on module one that's inside your personal XLSB and just say remove module one. It says, do you want to export module one before you remove it? We don't want to export it. So just click on no. Okay. So basically, when you open this, you shouldn't see any module in your personal XLSB. Of course, if you already are using your personal XLSB, don't delete anything in there. Now let's copy these to here. So all we have to do is drag and drop. Click on the form here and then just drag it all the way here and then let it go. 
and do the same thing for the module. Click and drag all the way up and it's inside there. Okay, so that's it. Now all we have to do is to save our personal macro workbook. Excel actually prompts you to save it when you want to close Excel. And we have to press save to have it always available in the background. Now Excel is closed. I'm going to open a non macro enabled workbook. So that's just a normal Excel workbook. And I want to use the utility that I just saved in my personal macro workbook. To make it easily available for me, I have different choices. I can either add it to my quick access toolbar. So by coming here, going to more commands and from here, selecting macros, I can see that macro right here. So I'm going to push it over and I can modify this, give it a nice icon, change the text if I want and say, okay. So this makes it available to all my workbooks. So whenever I click this, I get this user form pop up here and I don't have any hidden sheets, so I can just close this. So let's hide some stuff and let's test this. I'll click here. I can see that these are hidden. Now together with the control key, I can pick the ones I want to unhide and click on unhide sheets. So now I just have two that are hidden. Now you can also get fancy and add it to your ribbon. So just right mouse click on the ribbon, select customize the ribbon from the commands here, select macros. That's our macro. Now it's up to you where you want to push it over. I want to put it in my home tab. So first I have to add a new group to this and just rename this. So I'll call this Daniel's utility. And now I'm going to add the macro to this new group. So then click on add. It's on there. I can rename this. Okay. And okay. In my home tab, I have the on hide sheets utility. And when I click it, I can select one or more sheets that I want to unhide and unhide as I please. So that's the on hide utility. Thank you, Daniel, for your generosity. Please click that thumbs up to thank Daniel. If you work with larger workbooks and you have a lot of hidden sheets, this would be a good utility to use. So just click on the link below this video, download the file and follow the instructions. That was it for today. See you in the next video.